Hey guys, in this video we're going to walk through the steps uh, to use the TweakRT's data logging feature. Step one is to make sure you have the calibration that you want to uh, write to the tweaker and data log loaded. Your strategy set correct. Bank count set. And then check the data logging checkbox. Go to the utilities tab. And this is your list of registers available for data logging. Select the items that you want. If you try and go over more than 16 registers, it'll tell you that you've reached the limit. Click OK. When you have all the registers that you want selected, click the payload button. And then you can click Write Tweaker. Here it's updating the uh, tweaker with your calibration and the code and registers needed for data logging. You can open CalCon by clicking on the Start CalCon button. And this button will start the data stream. You see, I'm not in vehicle. I'm um, um, on my test bench, so I'm not getting any real updates. But you can see that the uh, counter is updating. Uh, this checkbox will toggle whether the data stream is written to a, a log file or not, and you can toggle it off and on as much as you want while you're logging. Um, right now, I'm only viewing. If I check it, then this log file is getting updated with the data stream that's coming through. You can stop the data logging, and if you start it again, it will create a new log file. This is based on a, a date timestamp, year, month, day, hour, minute, second. And again, you, you can toggle now the data stream is not being saved to the file. Now it's being saved to the file again. <clears throat> Those are the basic steps for uh, activating a payload. And um, I mean, the data logging, and any time you make a change to your payload, you have to go through that process again of updating it to the tweaker so the registers get updated and CalCon knows what data is coming across.